Okay, Yosemite tips and shortcuts. In general, the green button now goes to full screen, which you can use escape to get out of. To resize the window like you could before, hold down option and you see the plus icon, click that. You can also double click the title bar of the window. If your iPhone is nearby, click the Wi-Fi icon in the menu bar and you'll probably see your phone. This is the personal hotspot feature, which theoretically lets you use the internet on your phone for your computer when no other internet is to be had. I used this feature extensively when I lived in Japan with unreliable Wi-Fi. It was generally slow, but it worked. No, data rates will apply. You also have to turn this on on your phone. So you can turn it off on your phone if you don't want to be discoverable. You get this double ring thing that shows that you are linked to your phone. Mail! Guess what? You can annotate images and PDFs in Mail now. Click on the image and a little icon appears at the top that lets you select Markup. I've got a little pen. Choose my little color. Yay! Seems like this could be a great time saver. Messages. In a group chat, click on Details. You can now name chats, add people to the chat, mute the chat for yourself, or leave the conversation entirely. SME messages. On your phone, go to settings, messages, text message forwarding, enable it for your Mac. A code will pop up in messages on your Mac. Type this code into your phone. And voila. This is supposed to let you view those non iMessage texts you get on your phone on your desktop. I haven't had an opportunity to test it yet, but that's the idea. You'll see a new Today view in Notifications. This is what is called an extension. You can edit that from System Preferences, Extensions, Today. I removed Stocks and added a World Clock. From here, you can also customize that Share menu, Spotlight. Well, there's a bunch of new stuff here. I still like Alfred, but Spotlight is now pretty cool. Get search results and info on a number of things. Even convert temperatures and currency. You can remove certain types of results in System Preferences Spotlight. Search results. Uncheck the type you don't want. Use privacy to hide certain folders from all Spotlight searches. And once you've logged into FaceTime, you should also be able to call people directly from a Spotlight search. The only real change in QuickTime, aside from the look, is that you can now record your iDevice screen. With the device connected and on, go to File, New Movie Recording. And from this button next to the Record button, choose your device. And you can now see and record what's happening here. That is awesome. Safari. Bookmarks are now here. Tab view can be accessed here. And since the back button is now so far away, command bracket lets you go back in Safari. Look under view to turn back on your status bar and your favorites bar. Also, you can show the full web address in preferences, advanced, show full website address. And just for fun, you can create special new windows. File, new private window. Everything done in a private window should be kept out of your browsing history. In Finder, go to AirDrop or Command Shift R. You can now send files directly to your iPhone and vice versa, as long as you make yourself discoverable on both devices. Voila! Yay! No, thank you. Okay. To send from your phone, select the image or file, share, and the airdrop selections appear at the top. That one you have no choice in the matter, apparently. The real downside to this is it doesn't look like you can do anything besides no one, contacts only, or everyone, and obviously you don't want anything showing up on everyone, and contacts is a pretty broad group. I would rather limit it to just myself or a select few people. I hope there is or will soon be a way to do that, because right now, when I use it, I have to turn it on, then turn it off when I'm done.
System Preferences General, at the bottom checked by default, is the option to allow handoff. Let's say you are reading a web page on your phone and want to finish reading it on your computer. With the phone open to Safari, on your computer at the far, at the top or left of your dock, <clears throat> eventually, there is a new icon. This brings up what you were looking at on your phone. And for some reason, your bookmarks view. This should work with calendar, contacts, mail, maps, messages, notes, reminders, Safari, as well as the iWork suite. It's super fast when it works. And I can't wait to see what third-party apps start using Handoff as well. So, Better Touch Tool. You can download it for free here. Open Preferences. Click on Advanced. The Action Settings. Window Moving and Resizing. Choose either Focused Window or Window Under Cursor. I prefer this one. Move Windows. I use Shift and Option. This means holding down Shift and Option lets you move the window. The window under your cursor or focused window, whichever one you've chosen, with your mouse without clicking on its title bar, as there isn't much title bar space left in Yosemite. Resize windows. I use Option and FN. This means holding down FN and Option lets me immediately resize the window without clicking on its edge. I also have Brain Moving Window to Front, which makes it a little easier to move. Gestures. I also added a couple more gestures for my magic mouse. Um, this one I added because I can't get spaces to work, but this one doesn't really work either, so. Uh, but this one works. I'm under Magic Mouse Global. I've added a three finger swipe down to activate Mission Control, and a three finger swipe up to show the desktop. One of these could be Expose, which I use the bottom left corner for, but basically you can do anything with Better Touch Tool, anything any of these actions with any sorts of gestures or custom keyboard shortcuts. It's really useful and it's free. So, recommended.